Another commentary done by Diggity. Bottom left hand corner, we have Crossy starting as the blue Zerg. Bottom right hand corner, we have DeWalt starting as the yellow Protoss. This is going to be on Ascension. I'm doing a map reveal because I feel like it. Where you've got that. The, this is kind of the new feature. They added the eggs in between towards the natural expansion. And then kind of this is the classic. It's the rotated blue storm map. So this is the classic blue storm gap. I think they widened it a bit. So now like Dragoons and other things can fit through it. But this is where map control in the mid game can be very important because, <coughs> excuse me. Still, the weather's been dry, and I've had this lingering cough. It's been quite annoying. I think it's allergies because I got that booster shot this last week. But anyway, so you got the high ground right here, where things basically, yeah, it, it can be difficult to to work with the mid game, especially. I feel like this is one of those maps that does not favor Protoss. So we'll see how it, how Crossy does here, because I feel like there's a lot you can do against it. You can. It's much easier to box in a two base Protoss on this map, plus. Um, granted, the Mutalis Karas is a little bit harder over the natural and a little bit more difficult um, over <coughs> the the secondary compared to the original Blue Storm. But there's still a lot of Mutalis Karas that can happen uh, out here and over the third ramp and up on the high ground. I guess there's other... Anyway. Gateway first opener. Looks like we are seeing... Uh, oh, is this a... I missed the timing of this pool, but it looks like this... I believe this was a uh, nine pool. Nine pool with gas. And Crossy actually sitting, so getting an Overlord and still sitting on, uh... Yeah, I think this is a pure nine pool. Scouting to the north first with that Overlord. He's going to allow his Zerglings to do the scouting overall. So going to get aggressive. It will be up to DeWalt. It looks like DeWalt is going to get that scout. So we're going to see, presumably, some Zealot versus Zergling micromanagement. The drone moving out to go ahead and start potentially the natural expansion. This does open up opportunity for a small window for DeWalt to potentially harass. And actually this, never mind. I take this back. This is Crossy being clever. He's trying to move this drone out to delay that probe scout. It's like, okay, I'm going to block that natural expansion and not see the Zerglings. And if he had, if DeWalt had gone forge first, he might've gone Nexus first upon seeing that drone down there. Instead, Crossy <coughs> moving that Zergling out, again, dry weather, to go ahead and create a bit of blockade. DeWalt, and they're just, just ignoring that initial probe scout, that probe now moving in to try to do some additional harassment, additional Zerglings being produced. Now that hatchery can be delayed comparatively. Forge warping in. There's already a Zealot on the front door looking for that second Zealot, but I've seen Crossy pull this off a multitude of times where he just seems to make these Zerglings work. And I want to see, against a player of DeWalt's caliber, how much he can get accomplished because it's going to be a minute before this can warps in but you can see he just is assaulting that gateway getting what damage he can it looks like that probes moved off in the meantime that's i think dewalt realizing that he's going to have to micro heavily here and to play a little bit safer he's going to go ahead and just pull that probe back or maybe he just wants to hide it just in case the zerglings because the zerglings on the hunt now he wants to be able to move it back through and around you can see crossy now actually spreading these zerglings out to all corners of the map <clears throat> to try to find his opponent out here. Natural expansion now being built. Gas is up. I think Crossy <clears throat> will see if he shifts to three hatch play or if he's just going to stick to two hatch play. This hatchery is going to be significantly later than where it would be comparatively in other build orders. So he's taken the early economic hit, but might get the advantage of at least putting, well, I was going to say, might get the advantage of putting DeWalt in the dark. I'm not sure if DeWalt saw that layer or not. I think, oh, oh, Showed the lair and then canceled it. Now going Hydralis Den. So I believe Crossy is going to go for a straight two hatch bust against DeWalt. He's initially showing. And this is with the Zergling speed. Or with the Zerglings out on the map. It's going to be on DeWalt because he's completely in the dark right now. Completely in the dark. Let's see if he can get the if he can get the zealots out there some degree of intelligence before because I believe the timing of this, the hydralisks can end up on that front door doing all sorts of assault before that initial corsair is out on the map, and it's going to be up to Dewalt to basically pull probes, micro zealots, things like that, either moving the zealots ahead of time to go ahead and get that additional bit of intelligence, or plopping down cannons kind of preemptively on, I guess, just having that sense of timing because the Stargate being built right now, the Hydralisks are already in production and they're already starting to flood out towards the front door. And I, with the distances on the map, I think there's going to be somewhere around like seven or so Hydralisks. 
one thing in DeWalt's favor is he is continuing to produce these zealots. These are going to be high discs with speed, not range. The zealots pulling off the line. That's pushing them back. Now, here's the thing. These zerglings need to hold the gap. But, oh, DeWalt's pulling back, actually, with the zealots. So he didn't see any hydralisks with that grouping. He has sniffed something out because he's put an additional cannon on his natural expansion. Citadel of Dune's warping in. There's the Stargate as well. The hydralisks are waiting in the back corner, creating some, basically trying to hide and stay out of the way. A second assimilator is up. Another pylon in that back corner. This pylon is actually going to be key. I think DeWalt is sniffed this. I think he smells the, uh, the bust in the water. More Hydralisks starting to pour out. They're going to go end around from the north. The Corsair starting to move out. And this is kind of the critical timing. As Crossy makes the end around. Because this Corsair... And here's the other thing. Is if it sees this Hydralisk den, it's not really going to know whether this is 3 hatch or 2 hatch. Until he goes up and checks the third. So he wanders in. He sees 2 hatch play. He has put down a third cannon. so I do, And a fourth cannon. So no, he's got a good, he's got a good sense of this. And now Crossy moving forward, pecking away at those zealots. All sorts of cannons being dropped. So yeah, he's respecting great play. So he's respecting the all-in Hydralisk play. A bunch of cannons being dropped, and I think DeWalt might have gotten it down in time. Good game sense to win this match. Realizing that Crossy was going for that two hatch. Pros pulling off the line. The Zergling starting to flood in. More Zerglings starting to push forward. A bit of a drone drill to try to sneak across. A lot of probes dying. But keep in mind, DeWalt can lose these probes and still end up winning the game because of the amount of economic damage that Crossy kind of took latently by building all these Hydralisks and delaying that third hatch. And because DeWalt sniffed it out, plopped down the cannons preventatively, Crossy ends up just, wow, great game sense. Crossy ends up losing the match. Because it's just too far economically behind. And actually, I believe might have even gotten some Corsair hits between all that. Uh, I want to kind of sneak back to a couple of minutes. And this is, yeah, just game sense. And I think it, part of, I'm wondering if part of the trigger was is just seeing the sheer amount of Zerglings. But this is like the critical moment here is, is you'll notice he moves in with his Corsair. He sees the Hydra. So he sees this. He moves down and it might also be the drone count at the natural expansion. I think seeing that drone count at the natural expansion... But no, even before that, as soon as he sees that Hydralis den, and th it, that's right, he was expecting a lair earlier. So when he sees the lair that was canceled, he knows. Time to drop cannons. Crossy's trying to pull a quick one on me. And as a result, wins. Because at this stage, Crossy's still sitting at 12 drones overall. So nice shenanigans attempt on Crossy's part. Game goes to DeWalt. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.